Hello there, Eric Maggotson here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to a virtual machine that you're running in Microsoft Azure from Remote Desktop Connection Manager. So first thing is you'll notice I have my Remote Desktop Connection Manager open. I've opened up and authenticated into my Azure account. So we're going to use this MIM SVR DC0002. All I have to do is come over here and if you notice what I'm going to see is this connect button. I'm going to go ahead and choose that and that is going to download for me an RDP file. I'm going to go ahead and save that file and as you can see I've already saved it so I'll just save it again. It already exists, yes. And at this point instead of opening it I'm going to come out to File Explorer. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find that file, RDC2, and I'm going to right click and choose edit. And that's going to open up where I can get the IP address for the computer name. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Come into my remote desktop connection manager. I already have a group created. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in here. Now I am going to change the display name. I'm going to say that this is a Azure server, MIM DC0002, uh, just my little note that it is a domain controller. A uh, couple things that I like to do here, uh, remote desktop, go to full screen. This is going to definitely help with resolution. I'm not going to get the high DPI issues with my computer. Go into display settings, scale docked, etc., and I choose add. So at this point, uh, there's my DC right there. Actually, I need to change the name. Not a big deal. I'm going to come in here, use a different account. And this is going to be the Magidson admin and then my very complex password. By the way, I'm all about using password managers here. I don't like to store my passwords inside of my remote desktop connection manager. Up to you if you want to do that. But if you'll notice at this point, it's a hurry up and wait. All I have to do is get there. It'll fire up the machine. And I'm connected as if I'm connected into either my production network or my test network utilizing Remote Desktop Connection Manager. So as you can see, it's firing up my brand new Azure Server 2016 for the first time. There we are. And as you can see, I am in my server remotely, ready to manage it as if I was sitting in front of it on a VPN connected to a remote network, whatever the case may be. Hope this video helps you. Take care.